Lacrosse is a historic sport that has been played by Native American tribes since the 17th century. Popularized by the Haudenosaunee tribes of upstate New York, it has become the fastest growing sport in the world in the last 50 years. To the Haudenosaunee people, lacrosse is not just a game. It is a representation of their culture, with massive religious and spiritual meaning. Over time, the game has grown immensely, not only in popularity, but in equipment. First lacrosse sticks resembled giant wooden spoons made of hickory wood, with, te- with nets on the top made of leather and nylon. These sticks took months to create step by step, and players would cherish their lacrosse sticks as if they were an extension of their body. Over time, lacrosse sticks transformed into more manufactured materials, with lighter aluminum shafts and interchangeable plastic heads, using fabric mesh instead of traditional leather and nylon webbing. As the sport grew across our developing nation, the game spread to American colleges, with the first college lacrosse game taking place in 1877. The NCAA, or National Collegiate Athletic Association, took over sponsorship of lacrosse, and in 1979 held the first modern national championship tournament. As lacrosse grew into the spotlight of college sports, the popularity across the country soared. Hundreds of new universities started lacrosse teams, and thousands were picking up lacrosse sticks every year. Attendance in college lacrosse has grown as well over time, going from only a few hundred people at big-time lacrosse games to over 30,000 at the Final Four and National Championship. According to the Sports and Fitness Industry Association, 2.2 million Americans picked up a lacrosse stick in 2017, a 35% increase over just five years. With the college game growing, there was a need for a professional lacrosse league, and in 2001, Major League Lacrosse was started as the first professional outdoor lacrosse league. The sport of lacrosse continues as the fastest growing sport in the country, known for its fast pace of play, creativity, and skill level involved. In 2069, as the game continues to grow, there will be a need for advanced lacrosse-specific stadiums. The first lacrosse-specific stadium in the world is Fortress Obetz in Obetz, Ohio. Home to the MLL team, the Ohio Machine, it is the first stadium of its kind, paving the way for lacrosse-specific stadiums in the future. Franklin Foer writes, New products embedded themselves deeply in everyday life, so much so that it took decades for us to understand the price we paid for their convenience, efficiency, and abundance. The cyborg consequence Foer talks about warns people of the dangers that being so reliant on technology may lead to. The stadium of the future will be the exact opposite of this argument. Fans will have the open option to use these advanced technologies to improve their experience at lacrosse games through technology. There will be no reliance on technology, only an improvement of experience if these technologies are used. The lacrosse stadium of the future will incorporate virtual reality in ways never seen before. Players will have small cameras on their helmets that will record live feeds that fans can tune into to watch from a player's perspective at any moment in time. This gives fans of the game a live player life experience while viewing the game, as well as replays from a player's perspective. Virtual reality is an idea that is already very popular today, but still in its infancy. The potential of this technology is unprecedented and in the future will be more accessible and effective to the everyday person and fan. The stadium of the future will also incorporate areas where youth players can use hologram technology to improve their skills to emulate their favorite players on the field. Most youth players bring their lacrosse sticks to games today, and with the emergence of hologram technology in today's world, the use of it in the future will be crucial to help players with improving skills without the need of full practices and other players. The holograms will help players with simulations of dodging as well as shooting and passing accuracy. The stadium of the future will also have increased capacities without the traditional soccer stadium build that most stadiums use today, giving fans seating and viewing spots that are unique to the experience of lacrosse games, with protected viewing behind the goals and safe from stray shots that miss the goal. Lacrosse is the fastest growing sport in the country, And as its popularity continues to grow in the future, there will be a need for modern lacrosse-specific stadiums. For lacrosse to enter the spotlight and compete with sports like football and baseball, a lacrosse stadium that caters to the fans of lacrosse will be crucial to making this a reality.